peace, love, and light. This message is for Pisces. Pisces, checking to see what's in your energy. Mm -hmm. Pisces, I'm seeing you building a resilience to something. A resilience to something. Um, five of Swords. Something, someone bothering you, causing, causing stuff. Yes, it is. Oh, look at you. Hmm. So this resilience that's showing up for you is is showing up in different ways. Uh huh. So, <laughs> could this be what you're building the resilience to? Someone may be kind of like pestering you. That's why that five of swords came up earlier. I'm getting this energy. It's like it's like it's almost like this person's getting on your nerves. Like this person's starting to get on your nerves. Someone's like it's almost like this person, if you're not careful, they will like influence your energy. Um they may influence your energy in such a way. Mm. that's gonna throw you off balance and i'm seeing that there's something major that's about to happen for you and this is why someone may be showing up they're either showing up or they've always been there this may be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn um showing up and i'm seeing like this energy of balance is showing up here too um the divine is also saying that you have yeah like your spirit guides are showing up really strong and this is why there's this energy showing up about you building resilience like you are you are it, it's it's like um it's almost like you're building a spiritual immune system like you're building up your immune system spiritually. And this could you could be doing this in many different ways. Uh huh. You're building it up. And part of the reason is because the um, there's something powerful that's coming for you. That's that's happening for you death and rebirth like it's almost like you're being gifted with something the full card is an indication of an old beginning old beginning hmm is that what we meant to say an old beginning okay we'll find out what that means something old perhaps that means that you know you are reconnecting to an old way of being an ancient way of being or you're connecting to like ancient practices of some sort um this resilience comes from like knowledge of perhaps like ancient ways you have knowledge of ancient ways is what i'm hearing uh ancient ways connected to the spiritual beings over here you have knowledge of ancient ways and this knowledge is going is helping you to build resilience and prepare for what's coming mm -hmm. three 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 four those may those numbers may be significant those may be your life path numbers uh whatever it is that you are coming into it's like it's like um I'm getting this energy of like someone that's in a fort that's fortifying that fort it's like you're you're you know sealing the windows and you're making sure that there's no cracks in the windows no you know no foul air can come in it's like you're preparing this fort and this is part of how you're building this resilience and it's like you're building the resilience it's protecting you and it's and, and it's also this fort is serving a different purpose part of it is to keep out unnecessary like energy um like remove drain you know drain the the negativity out of your life of your energy and it's a major gift 
that's going to be given to you and again this is like multiple times i'm hearing this within this reading this king of cups and ace of cups is is an energy of you being gifted and this gift that you're about to receive is right there in your element you're being given a gift uh that may preserve your element that may enhance your element uh and your element being water you're connected to intuition connected to like mm, like it, it's it's almost like an empath of some sort and i'm getting that some of you are deeply connected to where you're like your empathic energy is showing up and perhaps that's the gift that i'm seeing like some of you are are going to be gifted this you're it's like the divine is working on your your empathic gift um you know that comes with caution to be cautious because that means that you're going to be able to pick up hmm, you're going to be able to pick up on different types of energy and when you pick up on that those different types of energy it's like a lot can happen your spiritual team is making sure that you um your wishes are fulfilled that your wishes are granted you see this page of wands uh with this being releasing the wands it's like you have this magician's wand and your spiritual team is divinely guiding uh the activities that are happening in your life um because they're they're assuring it's like it's like they're guiding your path um to a shore see this star this star is a guide and for many of you the star may represent someone or something that is a guide in your life that's guiding your life and again i keep getting connections to either like uh, a spirit being um a guide of some sort that's familiar with like ancient practices ancient ways of doing things um mm, you're connected to some ancient practice and for some of you there's this mm, this ancient practice may be the thing that's drawing this kind of energy to you too see that's like that whole it's like it's a uh what is the saying that they say it's a conundrum you know it's 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 like it's got its positive aspects and its negative aspects like you know when you become you know um a lot more connected to source and you're you're connecting to you know all of these this ancient wisdom information that means that there's also other energies that may kind of like sneak their way in there too energies that you may not be familiar with energies that if you're not careful will throw you off mm. this is ten of swords and eight of cups someone someone's walking away from something and i'm getting that this is this is part of what's going down the drain like you're releasing something uh that's building resilience within you that's building resilience it's like it's it's similar this energy is similar to you building a fort okay releasing this old energy is is similar to you building a fort that you can easily come in that's your place of solace that's your place of solitude in fact that might even be your fortress of solitude where you um you, you feel like you can be yourself and this fortress of solitude too is is really protecting you from a lot of unnecessary energies and i'm seeing here that this five of wands and this five mm, five of wands five of swords five five may be significant someone's trying to cause conflict 
chaos, confusion, headaches. Um, this King of Cups represents your gift of intuition. It represents you connected to this energy of ancient knowledge that I'm seeing. This King of Cups is able to also see or foresee what is coming. What you may not see, they see. Your spirit guides see those forces that you're not able to see. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. It's like you're sufficiently, you're sufficient. You know, you got things taken care of. You're taking care of things. You're doing it on your own. And yeah, your spirit guides are also letting you know that like they're here uh, because many of you, your load is quite heavy. You're dealing with a lot spiritually um, and there's stuff that you're continuing to deal with that if it wasn't for the assistance of your spiritual team um you know you would basically kind of like be stuck this gift that's being given to you that's um showing up as like it may be a connection to your intuition there's something that you're doing that's going to get you recognized in relation to that there's going to be folks that are not happy about this of course uh and it may actually be this very person that's that you're letting go of or that kind of energy that you're letting go of or it's it's alluding to people who may start to feel as if you're leaving them out and now, Devon is saying just continue to do what you're doing, continue to manifest, continue to mind your business, continue to move towards your progress because you're going to manifest a lot more than this. There's a lot more coming. Ten of Cups, Four of Wands, manifesting. Some of you, what what's, what's going to be gifted to you is showing up as like connection to others. It's, it's uh, manifesting a lot more. A lot more greatness that's showing up in your energy. Ten of Cups showing up for you. So there may be matters in relationship that are um, showing up. It's like being foreshadowed in your future. Um, it may also be that energy of you being gifted something. That may be a gift you know a positive like a positive relationship um just positive energy really great connection someone that you can build with someone you can that can be part of your soul tribe or is your part of your soul tribe that you mm, that you can continue to do this thing called life with you can also build stability with stability is in question i'm seeing because i'm seeing four four which represents stability okay okay progress on your path that's exactly what's happening here there's great progress on your path okay and this progress and I'm seeing what what's showing up here is medicine horse 41. All right, so let's see what medicine horse is saying regarding your reading. All right, so medicine horse is saying this. There's a powerful and sacred bond between your soul in the animal kingdom okay um if you have beloved animals who have left this world for the spirit world here's a message that this beautiful being is protected 
by spirit and is loved and peaceful. Um, their spiritual support and assistance for a journey ahead that will take you far. Progress is being made. You will successfully navigate your way around negativity. Healing spirit, healing spirit communication and loving repair of the sense of self after any type of abuse. Hmm. Perhaps like this energy of this fort that I'm getting is like what you've built for many of you you've built like a, a fort a, a fortress of solitude that's protecting you against any and all negative energy and and this fort this very fort is protecting you and at the same time it's also providing you the space and energy to heal from something which is this what the star card represents here your healing okay and the divine is saying you know keep going because you're making progress you know there may be some influences trying to like draw you back draw you into something that you're not trying to get into and the divine is saying hold on because you're going to be gifted and you know this gift that's coming is going to be a true testament of your ability to wait for the greater good and what's to come. Okay. Um, and five represents change. It's some major changes coming that are showing up for you. Um, and more of a reason for you to build this for to build like your uh, and I keep saying fort, it could be fortress of solitude, kind of like the same ideas, but, and you get the gist. All right. That is the message. If this message resonates, please like, comment, share, and subscribe until next time. Love, peace, and divine light.